Hey everyone, I wanted to bring an article to the attention of everyone that likes 90 Day Fiancé. Now, we all should know who Big Ed is, and if you look at Big Ed's Instagram, he has been working out to stay in shape. Many 90 Day Fiancé fans are still worried about his health though, based on the last episode of 90 Day Fiancé, of course, Happily Ever After. In an article from Screen Rant by uh, Niha Nathani, uh, many have shown and expressed concern from what they have visually seen. So, in the, in the latest episode of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, the 57-year-old reality star and his fiancé talked about their past, it was very touching, while packing their bags. And Ed revealed that he had a tough childhood full of obstacles. Ed also took Liz to his high school playground where viewers were stunned to see his full body shot as he flaunted his large body frame. I mean, the picture posted was not pretty. So, a Redditor with the username, I'll spell that out, S-O-H-C-H-X, shared Ed's picture on the platform. And so many people had so many concerning thoughts. If you look at the picture, it is actually very concerning. The most common reason 90 Day Fiancé viewers were concerned about Ed after the latest episodes is that they believe his heart isn't healthy. A Redditor wrote, and I quote, with that waist circumference, he's going to end up with a heart attack before his next birthday, while alluding to the scene where Ed talks about his future with Liz. So according to fans, the reality star doesn't seem to have good cardiovascular health, even though Ed keeps putting up these workout videos on his Instagram. I mean, come on. Um, and they're saying this as he showed physical signs of heart disease. Um, um, I've seen it in episode after episode that features Big Ed. Another Redditor commented, and I quote, He literally jogged about 20 feet and almost collapsed. He was so out of breath. Adding that Ed may be at high risk of a stroke. Yeah, when you carry that much weight, especially around the stomach area, that is visceral fat. And visceral fat is the most dangerous because that just shows your body is in your organs are encased in fat because it'd be a lot different if you carry your fat like let's say on your hips versus your your midsection your belly area it is a lot different but literally that's the worst place to carry your fat because it shows you have a lot of fat build up in around and on your organs furthermore many fans also feel that ed may unknowingly be suffering from hormonal imbalance. See, a lot of theories were coming up and being talked about, but hey, we're going to continue. The article that one Redditor, the article states that one Redditor wrote, but I quote again, there is a serious eating and diet issue or he has some chemicals and hormones way out of balance causing this. Add in that the reality star must get blood work done. People think that something is wrong with Ed as he doesn't look fit despite his constant workout videos on social media. Maybe the workout videos are for show. Who knows? Maybe he's actually participating in working out. I, I don't know. Hey, this is TLC. Come on. A lot of things are staged. A lot of things are done a certain way to present it to the audience. So don't count that out. It is also believed that Ed's imbalance is due to his lifestyle and drinking habits. Someone else commented, and I quote once again, a sign of severe liver disease, which I wouldn't doubt given the amount he drinks. Furthermore, some say Ed may have depression due to how stressful his life has been over the years. And I will say, yeah, there's been a lot of ups and downs, a lot of fights, a lot of breakups. A lot of in and out of relationships. So in that way, I can understand that it is indeed stressful. And I will quote again, as the writer said, depression and being in a relationship where you are stressed constantly will do this. And the writer wrote this after carefully assessing Ed's picture. The latest episode showed Ed talking about his rough childhood, as I've said, and school life where other kids bullied him. Of course, he didn't have a dad around because, you know, his... His mom decided to part ways with his dad and, you know, that will affect you in your youth. Furthermore, Ed opened up about how others have always demeaned him for his neck condition throughout his life. 
and viewers think such a rough upbringing and living with his syndrome has impacted the 90 day fiance's franchise stars overall health. Well, you know what? I think Ed really does need to put his health in the forefront. I really do think that he should, you know, really curb the drinking. I really think he should look at himself in the mirror and think, hey, um, how he's looking isn't how you'd look if you were healthy. Because, you know, you can, you can tell or you can generally, I should say, generally tell when somebody's healthy just by looking at them. If you see a guy, he has muscles, you know, he's fit, he 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 has tony, a shape, he has everything. Yeah, generally, you'd be like, hey, that's a healthy guy. That doesn't necessarily mean he's healthy. But typically, um, your, your physical appearance can really tell uh, others a lot about you. And to be honest, Ed does not look healthy. He looks the opposite, unhealthy, even though he's allegedly supposedly working out in these Instagram videos and photos um that could be staged is all I'm gonna say but am I right I don't know but what I do know is that Ed really does need to take care of himself so hopefully he does in time I wish the best for him I mean people are divisive with Ed some people love him some people hate him same thing with Liz some people love her some people hate her and I can totally understand this why people are this divisive with Big Ed and with Liz. But what I will say and I will always say is, hey, whatever happens, happens. But I really do think that a lot of Ed's focus, because he, he is a 90 day star. He has been on the show a few times and he has, you know, created a nice comfy lifestyle for himself because of the show the least he could do is you know maintain some modicum of health make sure he's healthy make sure he's fit make sure his diet is okay make sure that you know he's saving his monies for a rainy day etc 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 that's the least he can do anyways you know what this is it for me smash that like button for me leave me a comment tell me what do you think about this do you do you think Ed is suffering from stress, which is, you know, adding to his weight gain. Do you think he's suffering from a hormonal imbalance? Do you think he's at a higher risk for stroke? Do you think he is in poor cardiovascular health? Please leave a comment about this. I'd really like to know. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will speak to all you lovely people another time. Anyways, yep, that's it for me. Signing off. Take care of yourselves and make sure that you are all.